In today's video, we'll be painting up a female human monk from the Dungeons & Dragons WizKids line. Okay, so first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to start off with some elven flesh. We want a nice uh, pale skin tone I'm going for here with this uh, female uh, monk. And of course with these uh, WizKids models, they're already pre-primed, so we don't have to worry about that stage. That's a nice time saver here. And of course we're just applying our uh, elven flesh all over everywhere that we will want our skin tone to be and I'm applying it very thin as you can see because I'm going to be applying it in multiple coats. Okay now with her skin done we're going to come in now with some ivory and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting in the eyes. So for this we I start with our white colour, I place it on the area where the eye sockets will be and then I come back in a little bit later to tidy up around those areas until we've got those eyes picked out exactly how we want to before moving on to the next step which is putting in the pupils. So with all that white painted in and clearly defined to how we want it, we're going to come in now with the black and try put on the pupils. Now this is always the very tricky part. Now what you can do instead of using a brush is you can use the end of a needle or a um, bobby pin, something like that with just a tiny dot of black on it and dot them in. But I'm trying to practice my brush skills a little bit here and see if I can get to the point where I can place just a little dot of paint on areas and eyes. Now this will take a few tries so don't be afraid if you get it wrong like how I have. And then once we have the eyes picked out how we want to, I'm going to come back in with the black and I'm going to be painting her hair in black as well. Go with some nice dark black here and this is nice and easy just of course being very careful to not paint anywhere where we don't want that paint especially with black it's going to take a little while to uh, get rid of that black so we want to be careful especially in this stage of avoiding touching the skin or anything like that since the skin is such a light color and take quite a few layers of paint to get it over with but don't, don't be afraid you still can do that at this stage okay now with her skin and face all completed we're going to come on now with some khaki and what I'm going to be using this is to be painting up her pants so she's got uh, in these nice pose where you can easily get to a lot of the places with the pants but don't be afraid to get in underneath all that cloth she has over top of it as well really get a good coverage there with the khaki color so now we have her pants painted up what I'm going to be doing now is coming in with dark pale blue from Vallejo and I'm going to be using this to be painting up uh, pretty much all of the colors of her robes. So just the base color of her robes is going to be this dark pale blue, which is a really nice uh, color that I'm going to be using to... Uh, it's full advantage here, giving these nice uh, flowy areas, and I think it's a nice sort of calming color, especially um, for the lady that I'm painting up here who seems to be sort of practicing or maybe even in the middle of a fight. But I'm going to be uh, painting her up as sort of she's practicing on a nice rock and she's just training so this is going to be a good color to help accentuate that sort of feeling okay now we've got the main color on her robes complete what i'm going to be doing now is coming in with some deck tan and the deck tan we're going to be using it to be painting everywhere where she has some uh, wrappings on so the monks have their sort of training wrappings especially in D, D to cover up their vital spots so um, i'm going to be doing that in the this deck tan color which is a nice sort of off-white creamy color and it's going to separate it out from the, an ivory or a white, especially when we apply some washes to it. So that's why I'm going with the deck tan here. And of course, we just want to make sure we get everywhere, including over her uh, bow staff as well. She's got wrappings on that too, so don't forget to do those as well. Okay, now we have all her wrappings done. What we're going to be doing now is coming in with some charred brown. And the charred brown, we're going to, all we're going to be doing is applying it to her staff. We're going to give her a nice dark wood bow staff, and I think that's going to really pop out against all these nice uh, chill sort of calming colors we've got here very sort of neutral color so having a, another neutral color but also it being super dark is going to really help it pop on the table okay now with that complete what i'm going to be doing now is adding some alien purple i'm going to be adding a pop of color to the miniature so the alien purple i'm going to be using because it's going to be a nice color to go with the uh, uh, dark uh, light sorry the dark pale blue that we have on her clothing already is going to go nicely with this uh, alien purple and it's really going to give off a nice effect and all I'm going to be doing is going around all the edges and stuff on the model now it does have some edges on here but not all over the model where I'm going to be uh, painting up I'm sort of just going to be outlining the entirety of her cloths with this um, alien purple to give it sort of like a, a trim effect and I think it'll just add a bit more detail to the miniature 
because um, it's quite plain if we just have it like this so adding on little bits of detail like this is going to be one thing I'm going to try and improve on with some of my miniatures that are a little bit more plain so just going around all everywhere on the edge really picking them out with this purple okay now with all that purple trim put down we've got a lot more detail on here and now I'm going to come in with some cavalry brown and for the cavalry brown all I'm going to be doing is painting a little belt on her now she does have one partly on her here um, it's very very subtle and not very well defined in the actual sculpt of the miniature itself you can only see it in parts so this is a lot of just freehand brushing the areas to fill in the gaps and give her an actual belt and we're going with this different color here because it's going to really sort of stick out of the model and give it a little bit more attention and color to the piece overall okay so now with that we are all completed with all of our base colors so now we can start moving on to our washes so of course starting off with flesh wash here and we just want to be applying this over her skin being very careful not to get it in any other places um, I always start with the flesh washes because um, the skin is usually the smallest part and I want to get in there nice with the detail brush without spreading the flesh wash over everything else and making it sort of a little bit simpler on myself now once that wash is completely dry we're going to move on to our next step which is we're going to be applying some Agrax Earthshade. Now the Agrax Earthshade we're pretty much going to be applying over the entirety of the rest of our model except for her robes. We're going to be avoiding her robes so we want to be getting everywhere like her pants, her wraps, um, her staff, everywhere like that. We're just avoiding the main part of her robes that we've done with the purple outlining. We want to avoid that because we're going to be using a different color for that so everywhere else is we're going to be doing uh, with this Agrax Earthshade which is going to give it a nice sort of slightly dirty effect but also brown it up and give it that realistic sort of look especially in those shadows okay now with that Agrax Earthshade completely dry what we're going to be doing now is coming in with some blue tone ink now this is what we're going to be applying to the majority of her robes to give that pale blue here that nice sort of more rich and vibrant blue color which is going to really make it stand out because I didn't want her to look like a, a dirty um, hard battle training that's not sort of the look I'm going for with this miniature I want her to look like she's sort of peacefully training herself somewhere out on a field so um, to do that we want to avoid using any brown or black washes over there because it can give a very uh, a dirty sort of appearance if you apply it too harshly so the blue is just going to help accentuate all of those parts we've already painted in those colors as well okay so once that wash is done we have done with all our washes so now we can move on to our highlighted area so coming back in now with our deck tan and of course all we're going to be doing is applying it to the high points of all of those wrappings that we have on here so like the bow staff here we've got some nice uh, wrappings on there and these are actually reasonably sort of defined uh, with actual wrap marks on them so i'm just picking out each of those individually to give them a highlight on the top parts of them and of course we want to be aiming for where the sun will naturally hit them so it's sort of like the tops and the very outest parts of each of the models that we want to be looking for to where that sun would naturally hit to be placing our highlights on there uh, take a little bit of practice uh, it may even take a couple of layers to get the highlight you want on there so don't be afraid to go back over again as well and picking out those little bits of detail okay now with all our wrappings all picked out what we're going to be doing now is coming back in with some khaki and we just want to be hitting those points that would be in the light uh, as well with these so got like these little bits of folds here um, she has those parts that are really sort of sticking out in the sun as she's pulling off her pose we want to make sure we get those as well we're basically just leaving the wash to be just in the recess because like I said I didn't want her to have a, a dirty rugged appearance we're going for a nice sort of serene presence so I'm going to be just keeping the shadows to a minimum okay now with all those pants picked out I'm going to come back in with some alien purple now and I'm just going to be doing the exact same thing which is just highlighting all those areas that we match on the sun now this one uh, I guess is a little bit different I can go the whole way around the edge just catching the uh, edge of the brush onto the very edges of the miniature and picking out all of those but I'm also focusing quite heavily on the points that are naturally hitting the sun and giving a full brush stroke over top of those instead of just the edge of the model as well so don't, don't be afraid to do that as well to make those points be a little bit more noticeable okay so now with that complete what we're going to be doing now is coming back in with our dark p blue pale and we want to be using that to just be picking out that she has some very subtle uh, wrinkles and folds on her uh, 
outfit that she's wearing so all we want to do is be picking those out with some nice highlights with this color and then after that you are pretty much complete and you want to be basing your miniature now the basing uh, like i said i want her to be in this serene sort of training pose out in the field so i um, made a base to reflect that but of course you could always just uh, paint up the base she's standing on and have the miniature complete but stick around to the end of the showcase so you can see what i did with her that we have finished painting up our female human monk from the Dungeons and Dragons Wiz Kids range and as you can see by uh, just adding in some uh, bright sort of pale natural colors we're giving her the sort of serene effect as well as the uh, base here that I've applied which was just a rock I found on my driveway and added some nice flowers and some grass tufts we've given her a very sort of training feel like she's trying to achieve peace so i hope this has been useful for you whether you guys want to follow along with me and try to recreate the same thing or you just enjoy watching me paint up some miniatures so i'd like to thank you all again for watching and i can't wait to see you in the next video